I'm Mo Ali. I'm here at one of the screening clinics that we have for COVID patients. And the reason why I'm here is quite simple. As we've hit society's greatest point of need, I am here to serve the people. I landed a position at a rare disease consulting firm and started to see very cool technologies that were being developed in the rare disease space. Being a parent of a child with a rare disease, it just seemed like, oh, I had finally, 20 years into my career, I've now found my niche. When you have a genetic disease, there's typically either a missing or a malfunctioning gene. And so this virus technology is able to deliver to the cell either a functioning copy or a replacement copy. We all play a part in the next big innovation. Teachers and educators aren't necessarily like scientists in a lab or a doctor in a hospital, but you never know if that kid walking through your door is gonna be someone who discovers a cure or does something amazing in the future. My grandma, she was the only grandparent that I knew uh, when I was growing up. And when I was about 15, she passed away. You know, I could tie her death to healthcare inequity and unmet medical needs. And I remember talking to my dad about wanting to be a doctor so that other people's grandparents wouldn't suffer that. I think what any scientist wants to do is to be a part of something that can change people's lives. And being able to participate, really when the world is counting on the science to come through, is something that we're really happy to be a part of. We should always be trying to make the world a better place. It's our duty and our responsibility. If you see a problem in your community, then go out there and try and make a difference. Even if people tell you that you're too young, try and find a way to make that change because if you don't do it, then who will? 